So in this video, what we're actually going to do is we're going to look at utilizing Bing's new image creator. Now, this is an artificial intelligence image creator, and it it's pretty cool. Okay, it is actually pretty cool. Um, this could take over along with Microsoft Designer. It could like it could lead a lot of companies to go and bust, especially companies like Canva. Okay, so um, you got Bing Image Creator. Just go to Bing or go to Google and type in Bing Image Creator and then scroll down until you find it. Okay, so what you're going to have Image Creator from Microsoft Bing. Bing. And what you got here is you got just an overview. So Image Creator powered by DALI. Okay, and then it's going to give you kind of like some information. Jumpstart your creativity, vibes, photography, art styles. Um explore ideas, get some ideas for what it is that you're actually doing. You know, it, it's very simple to use, kind of like something like this, you know. Um, so what we've done here is green, landscape garden in the middle of a dense forest panoramic dlsr dslr okay so let's let's click that now that is just a complete load of waffle that i put together a sentence that i put together um to give an idea but one of the things i love about this is it actually gives you tips oh, but look at this isn't that absolutely beautiful that's pretty much like that that's exactly what i asked for that's exactly exactly the vision of what i asked for beautiful landscape garden in the middle of a dense forest okay and if we like any of these we can go and we can click on it all right so let's say we like this we can download it ourselves, or we can actually customize it as what i love here is this new thing from microsoft designer where you can actually go in and it's going to help you create images just like what canva would actually be doing but the thing here is it gives you these great templates already. So if you, you click on this one, boom. All right, so it started to pull up these great templates that you can actually utilize yourself to create little social media posts if you want, okay? You can also change the size on it here. So let's say that you wanted a landscape version of it. Okay, so you want this one here. Or you could use something like that. Isn't that lovely? Then you'd probably change the color of it. If you wanted to choose this and you wanted to click customize design, then you're going to go in here and you could change the color of these. So let's say that we want to change this color. Let's say I want to change it to a green color as well. And I want to use maybe this light green here. Okay, isn't that wonderful? And how about we change this? I, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I don't mind the, the text itself. That's fine. Uh, but let's change it to, uh, to a white text. Okay, and let's make it bold. Okay, and we don't want any of these uh, this this background color on it. So what we can actually do is we can remove the background color. Ah, simple. Wait a second. No. Well, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? A breath of fresh air. Okay, so that looks cute like that. Okay, there's a there's a tool in here too. I don't normally use these tools very often, to be honest. I have my people who will help me do those things. But you can play around with this. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you a nice image. You can move this down a little bit, you see, to make sure that it's in the image. All right. Here we go. Bread of fresh air. And then if you were happy with that and you were like you wanted to use this one, you can download it. Okay, it's going to download it as a ping. And then we can open it up. And there we go. So we've got a lovely image that we can actually utilize across our social media. Okay, but let's look at the image creation section of this, okay? Because this is really, this is the part that, uh, that we love, all right? So I've created a sheet for you, okay? So you can download this sheet. So what I've done is um, I've added some prompt ideas in for you. Um, and I called it adjective, noun, verb, and style. And this gives you uh, an idea of um, the different way that you can actually utilize um, Bing image creation is by setting up your prompts in a certain way to get a certain output, okay? So let's say that we wanted to, 
We use an adjective noun verb style, mythical forest glowing watercolor. Okay, so that's our adjective, mythical, noun forest, verb glowing, style watercolor. So we come back into Bing. And we're just going to put it in here. But what we want to do is we want to go um, create a mythical forest in a glowing watercolor style okay so we want to make it very human when we're actually talking to it and then we're going to press enter and what it's basically going to do is it's going to come back i can't wait to see what this actually comes back as uh it's going to come back and it's going to give us um oh, wow isn't that absolutely fantastic that's beautiful so again we can go to the next one let's go ancient castle crumbling digital art okay again Let's have a look. Um, back into here. Create an ancient castle that is crumbling and do it in a digital art style. Okay. So again, as you can see, we're just adding the human elements in there to make it very easy to actually understand. And again, I'm just so excited to see what it brings back for us here awesome so that looks like it's straight out of a comic book that's so cool that's really really cool but you can utilize this for so many things you can utilize google microsoft being creator for so many things okay so what i've done is i've created a little uh, sheet in here for you as i said and i've created a list of low barrier to entry products Okay, so this basically means that these are easy business types to actually get involved in and that you can utilize the Bing creator to actually use them. Okay, so handmade crafts. Okay, so um, jewelry ideas. Let's say that you wanted to create some jewelry ideas. Well, you basically come in and you could use the, the prompt idea again, like you could use, um, you know, let's say that you wanted to use a vibrant... Um, bracelet sparkling um and then let's say we wanted to have it in a style of roman all right so let's say we want a vibrant bracelet sparkling okay so um create a vibrant let's say ruby bracelet ruby bracelet using sparkling stones in a Roman in a Roman style. Okay, and let's see what it brings back. So what it's basically going to do is it's going to give you, no matter what your industry is, no matter what it is that you're looking to achieve, you have the opportunity to grab great ideas here or to actually create things that you already want and you know. So, wow, look at that. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So what it's done is it's created great ideas that you can actually bring to life yourself. Or how about something like a, a different barrier to entry? Let's let's look at um, print-on-demand products, t-shirts, mugs. Let's let's look at a t-shirt. So let's say that you wanted to use this kind of uh, this kind of style again. So Lush Meadow, uh, blooming impressionist. Like we're, let's not use that. Let's use pop art. Oh, this could be kind of cool. So let's go into here, and we're just going to go. Um, Create a vibrant market scene in buzzing London street using a pop art style. Okay, and let's click on this. And what would the idea of this would be to actually take this graphic and then use something like Teespring to create. Um, uh, a t-shirt related to it. And let's see how this would work. Wow. Isn't that so cool? You could imagine that on a dark t-shirt or something along those lines. Jesus, these are awesome. Super, super happy with these. That's so, so cool. And again, you could download it straight or you could customize it or you could share it. You could utilize these on your own uh, social media, whatever it actually was. But you could even download these, upload them into your Canva 
And then you've got it. And one of the things, like I pay for Mid Journey, like so, I, I pay like a, I think it's like sixty bucks a month for Mid Journey. Uh, and what I'm getting now with Bing Creator is just it's it's on par nearly with what I can ask um, what I can ask Mid Journey. And Mid Journey has a much steeper learning curve, like it really does. Mid Journey's learning curve is is very. Uh, you really need to know what you're doing in terms of graphical um, prompts when it comes to uh, Mid Journey versus Microsoft Bing here, uh, the image creator on Microsoft Bing, which is much, much better. So look, anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. Make sure to pick up that sheet. I leave a link down in the description uh, of the video and give Microsoft Bing a chance. Look, my name is Kieran Doyle. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you're new here, please subscribe. Be awesome to have you uh, in this growing community. I'll be releasing a lot more videos on artificial intelligence that you guys can get stuck into. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, peace out.